Hey guys, how's it going? Sherry here from Notebooks Given Crew. Rock on. Um, okay, so this is going to be a twin flame reading from April the 21st until the 28th, 2017. I just want to thank you guys again for all the support that you've shown me. Love you guys. Okay, so I'm going to be using the John Holland deck for the main cards and then my deck for clarifiers. Also, don't forget to uh, subscribe and like. That'd be awesome. All right. So, beginning with um, the feminine recent past position. Spiritual strength. I want to say that we, we had this card in a very similar position um, recently in the last Twin Flame readings. So spiritual strength is a Nine of Wands. Um, in the traditional right of weight deck, this card talks about um, feeling like you're the wounded warrior. Um, like you've been fighting a lot of battles, you have scars and wounds, and your muscles are tired, you're exhausted, you don't want to carry on. Um, but you have that little bit of strength left in you to give it one final push. So, um, yeah, I'm feeling that the feminine has, um, you know, been through a lot, um, carrying a lot on their shoulders, um, finding strength to carry on even though they're, you know, feeling like they're losing hope in some situations, not all. Um, but yeah, let's see what else Spirit has to say. So, Four of Cups, Knight of Swords, and the 1111 card. Okay, yeah, so... Um, four of Cups, this is stagnation and boredom, feeling like things aren't moving uh, along. So it's also a card of longing, uh, wanting a relationship, uh, and it's not feeling like it's not working out. So confirmation for what I was saying there. Um, this is also offering someone a cup of love and then not receiving it or vice versa. So you offering them a cup of love and them not receiving it. The... Knight of Swords is an energy that is very fast. It's airy. It's about thought, communication, uh, cutting through barriers um, and darkness. So the Knight goes forward very quickly with his ideas. He's the champion, the rebel. Um, so there's a sense that you know your truth. You know uh, what it is that you want. Um, you want communication um, in a truthful way. And so there's a sense that you're being held back, even though this energy is um, unstoppable. Uh, there's a sense that you're really, you know, holding yourself back and trying to, um, you know, find that strength within you to carry on, um, you know, believing and hoping that this is a, a true connection. And to confirm it, we have the 11 Twin Flame calling card. So what I'm feeling here is that in the past that the feminine have, um, you know, are starting to lose hope, starting to uh, question um, you know, whether or not this is the right relationship for them, and if it is indeed a twin flame relationship. So, again, it's coming in in the past position, so hopefully present is a little bit more optimistic. Okay, so for the masculine, five of pentacles. I know this came up last week. This is a, a feeling of being left out uh, in the cold, um, and again, it, you know, it reflects some form of financial loss. So, um, even the masculine is feeling, you know, like he wants to reach out, um, ask for help, uh, but not receiving that help. Um, or they've taken a hit, 
in some way in terms of the material world. Okay, three cards. Ten of Pentacles. Oh, my cards are sticking together. Uh, wow, another ten of Swords. And the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, three ones here. So, Ten of Pentacles is that long-term goal of retirement. Um, reaching that point where you don't have to worry about money any longer. Um, you can just enjoy life with your friends, your family. Um, there's security, stability, and um, a sense of family. The Ten of Swords, and then again, this is a completion, so the Ten reduces to one. Um, another Ten here, which is a completion. Uh, the Ten of Swords is an ending to to that darkness, the dark night of the soul, it's over. Um, so this is a sense of feeling um, stabbed in the back over and over again and you're done, you've had it, you've been left for dead and and that's it. So the Ace of Pentacles is a brand new beginning in the 3D world. Um, so there's a sense that this long-term vision is um, motivating the masculine to let go of you know these negative thoughts negative people and situations in order to ground you know that new beginning um, this also represents prosperity and abundance these two cards uh, so yeah but he needed to cut something away uh, in order for this new beginning to happen um, and he's feeling some form of burden financially or um, just, you know, even just left out of a relationship of some kind. Oh. Okay, so for the feminine present position, heartache and loss. Uh, okay, so she's feeling vulnerable. Um, she f she's feeling her heart breaking um, or this could mean that you're you're finally letting go of expectations and uh, attachments and ready to move on I don't know let's see what else comes up ace of wands six of pentacles and eight of wands Okay, so Ace of Wands, um, that's a brand new beginning of life. So the Fool would be carrying that Ace, or sorry, yeah, that uh, one wand. Uh, so it's a brand new beginning starting from zero. The old life is left behind. Um, and you're, there's like this spark of inspiration and, and drive within you to begin this new life. And it has to do with your, uh, your destiny, your higher purpose. So, um, yeah, you feel like maybe you are offering this um, new beginning. I don't know. The Six of Pentacles is my cohabitation card. So you can see that I've been doing some work on my cards here. Um, this is giving and receiving. So sharing your life with somebody in the 3D or being at a point where you can actually offer, um, you know, help of some kind um, to the people around you so you're very generous kind of energy the eight of wands is communication so it could be by phone or texting um, it's also Cupid's arrows so love coming towards you or you're sending it um, but I like to see it as the energy is coming towards you um, this is also reaching for your the stars, reaching for your highest goals and visions um, that have to do with your higher purpose. Uh, and now that energy is coming back towards you. So uh, I may pull a clarification card from that from the Osho deck for this because always the girls always have such complicated um, reading here. So currently you are. Uh, what I'm feeling is you want to share your life with the masculine in the 3D. Uh, you want to have a brand new beginning in life. And um, Spirit is saying that that energy is coming towards you. 
That's kind of what I'm feeling there. So I'm going to pull a card from the Osho. Okay, so what do you mean by the Three of Swords? You know, where the masculine is kind of um, feeling left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. We've got the Six of Pentacles here of the feminine being open and giving. Um, stop. Okay. Aloneness. Okay, that makes sense. So, um, not all the twin flames are in union, uh, so I can understand how this could be heartbreaking for you. So Spirit is asking you to release any attachments and find peace in, in silence and stillness. When you are alone, you're not alone. You're simply lonely. And there is a tremendous difference between loneliness and aloneness. When you're lonely, you're thinking of the other. You're missing the other. Loneliness is a negative state. You're feeling that it would have been better if the other was there. Your friend, your wife, your mother, your beloved, your husband. It would have been good if the other was there, but the other is not. Loneliness is the absence of the other. Aloneness is the presence of oneself. Aloneness is very positive. It is a presence, overflowing presence. You are so full of presence that you can fill the whole universe with your presence and there is no need for anybody. So, um, yeah, I'm feeling that she is open. She wants that new beginning, wants to share um, her 3D world and her life with her masculine and um, there's a sense that the you know the majority of the feminine need to um, detach the hermit is um, walking away from society's conditioning and uh, the material needs and finding that aloneness finding that light within and shining it brightly for others, you know, to guide them out of the darkness. So, I'm feeling a need of healing, but you're staying open. Okay, so what is, let me just address these a little bit. The masculine's present position, seven of pentacles, patience and planning. So, this is gestation to pause um, you know the pregnant pause waiting for um, the return waiting for the ships to come in so there's a sense that the masculine has put a lot of work into developing the seed um, nourishing it growing it and so now he's waiting for harvest so even though there is a sense of a loss in the recent past um, that new beginning has been grounded because of the fact that he's let go of a lot of negative in his life. He's gone through that dark night of the soul. Two tens, completion, and a brand new beginning. So now he's waiting for that return. Nice. Zero, the fool card. Wow. And the world card. Wow. <laughs> And the Knight of Cups. So, the Fool card. Zero. Starting from zero. So we have um, that mirroring energy here. So, the Fool card is letting go of your old life. Um, having no expectations. Uh, taking a leap of faith towards your destiny. Um, so yeah, leaving your old life behind. And seeing the world through a child's eyes, being optimistic and excited and hopeful about, um, you know, this decision to uh, move away from the negative and start your new life. The world card is 
the end of the fool's journey. So this is the beginning of the fool's journey. And at the same time, he's got this completion. It's amazing. So the end of the fool's journey, that's going through all the stages of evolution, of the, the awakening process. Um, it's letting go of the fears, um, the conditioning, uh, the constraints, um, the material world. And um, so the cycle can last up to you know, 20 years to a lifetime to complete. So he is, um, he is awake and he's um, ready to take that leap of faith. Um, but he he can't just yet. So this is um, like I said, it's making a decision to take that leap of faith. So he's he's he sees that final piece of the puzzle um, in his future, but he's waiting uh, for that you know harvest. He's waiting for the ships. One final thing: the Knight of Cups is a movement forward towards your love, towards your true love, and offering that love to somebody. And so it's gestures of love, it's romantic gestures, poetic gestures, it's um, longing for love and, um, and wanting to move forward towards it. So that is so beautiful. While he's waiting in this pause, he's thinking of the future in this new beginning and offering his love to the feminine. That makes me want to cry. <laughs> it is so beautiful. but the feminine is heartbroken because she feels alone. She wants to share her life with her masculine. Okay, so near future position. Oh my God. Wow. Crazy. So Four of Wands is the Twin Flame 1111 calling card for all other decks. In my deck, it's this. So the Four of Wands, and that's... Uh, we got that 1111, which kind of represents, you know, the four wands. But anyway, um, so this is completion. It's um, an arrival, a new beginning, and um, uh, feeling like, you know, you have this exciting future ahead of you. So wands is spirit energy. So it has to do with your higher purpose. Um, so this could also represent... Uh, marriage, engagement, um, buying a new home, traveling, um, new job. So it is this arrival of the twin into your life um, and feeling this bliss and happiness and com a sense of completion. Okay, Eight of Swords, Hermit. And the Two of Wands. So Eight of Swords is that mental prison. It's an oppressive energy coming from the outside, um, weighing you down. So it's thoughts that are being told to you, um, telling you you're not good enough, um, you can't do something. Um, but again, it's, it's a self-inflicted prison. So you can release yourself from that prison if you choose not to believe those thoughts or those voices. The Hermit is, once again, the aloneness card. Um, you know, going on that spiritual journey, uh, detaching from society, uh, the material world, and shining your bright, or your light bright for others to guide them out of the dark. The Two of Wands is making a decision in the past that was based on your higher purpose um, and not based on fear and um, it's expanding your mind seeing all the possibilities uh, and seeing your connection to the universe um, so there was a decision that was made in the past we know that um, and here we have you feeling like you're you know being held back so I think spirit is saying that um, you need to continue to detach and walk through that door, release yourself, uh, and 
and open your mind to see the possibilities. Um, and I'm feeling um, something. Either someone comes out of the hermit state or the feminine comes out of the hermit state by making this realization. And as a result, it brings that energy towards her. I don't know. Girls, you're, I'm going to have to pull another clarifier for that. Okay, so I've already shuffled it, so I'm just going to grab the top card. Patience. So, um, we got that mirroring energy. Seven of Pentacles, waiting. So, you know, maybe it's just a state of mind. You can see this as an opportunity to reevaluate um, and see things from a different perspective. Or you can, you know, choose to feel like you're trapped. For some, not all, of course. Oops, sorry guys. Okay, so patience. There are times when the only thing to do is wait. The seed has been planted, the child is growing in the womb, the oyster is coating the grain of sand and making it into a pearl. This card reminds us that now is a time when all that is required is to be simply alert, patient, and waiting. The woman pictured here is just in just such an attitude. Contented, with no trace of anxiety, she is simply waiting. Through all the phases of the moon passing overhead, she remains patient so in tune with the rhythm of the moon that she has almost become one with it. She knows it is time to be passive, letting nature take its course, but she is neither sleepy nor indifferent. She knows it's time to be ready for something mo monumentous. It is a time full of mystery, like the hours just before the dawn. It is a time when the only thing to do is wait. So I, maybe the wait is over, perhaps? Um, and you're released from that mental prison? I don't know. Okay, so near future for the masculine. Mental conflict, two of swords, making a decision and unable to do so. So yeah, this is um, having two choices and they are far, they have far reaching consequences. They're very significant, life changing choices choices, you know, like uh, moving or uh, deciding to leave a, a codependent relationship, um, you know, in search for something entirely new, just like down here, you know, taking that leap of faith. So, yeah, and because it's such a significant uh, decision, there's this sense of not being able to make that decision. So it's a stuck energy. So let's see what else comes up. Nine of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Wow. And the Knight of Wands. Okay, so it looks to me like that decision is made with force. <laughs> so the Nine of Pentacles is ripeness. The fruit is ready to drop from the branch. Um, so this is independence, um, being financially stable. We got a five, seven, and then a nine. So it's a progression. Um, so feeling successful and um, being able to enjoy the finer things in life in the 3D world. So once again, you know, taking trips, um, you know, going on vacations, doing things um, to treat yourself. The Page of Pentacles could represent communication in the 3D, um, or it is the Apprentice. It is um, putting work into something, planning something in the 3D, so honing your skills, um, you know, finding knowledge, getting knowledge and, you know, that kind of thing. So it is a planning energy. The Knight 
of wands is a blast forward out of the gate. It is this explosion of energy and it's forward directed um, and you can't stop this energy. So my sense is that um, he makes a decision about something regarding that the 3D um, and the wait is over. He finds his independence um, and starts to make plans you know, to really ground this energy, his decision, um, and he's put a lot of thought into it, and he moves forward with that idea, with that, you know, that final happy ending. Um, and this is wand energy, so it's about your higher purpose, your destiny, the thing that makes you come alive. So he goes forward full force. Okay, so final outcome for the feminine. Four of Pentacles, firm foundation. Um, so I'm feeling after that period of wait, we get this grounding energy. Unwavering. Now sometimes this card means being closed off. Um, someone's being closed off to you or vice versa or holding on too tightly to something and vice versa um, but I'm really feeling with the John Holland deck that it is a solid grounded energy four so we got a four here as well so progression or not a progression but a synchronicity eight of cups nice the hangman and the Knight of Pentacles. Awesome. So, Eight of Cups. It is moving away from that dark energy, that feeling of um, being imprisoned by the mind. Um, so, the Swords is, is thoughts, whereas the Cups is um, emotions. So, moving on from negative emotions. Um, you know, being, you know, uh, manipulated or um, being controlled by emotion. So it's making that decision to move on. Um, and it's moving towards the light, away from the darkness. And it's also a spiritual quest, a, a pilgrimage, uh, to find your higher purpose. So it's a very positive energy. It's making that decision to move away from that, those, that negative energy. And you're doing it by being the hangman. So the hangman is um, seeing things from a different perspective, like I was saying. And it is letting go of control. It is surrendering. And this is being asked of you because there's you know, a tremendous amount of change occurring around you. And um, it's causing some distress mentally and you know, in your heart as well. So, as a final outcome, you will give it that final push and um, let go of this longing, um, heartbreaking uh, energy. And the Knight of Pentacles is my favorite knight. He always arrives at his destination. Uh, so it's, you know, we have that Page of Pentacles in his near future. That decision is made. Uh, the knight is taking those steps forward, very measured, calculated steps. Um, and I'm feeling, you know, that he arrives. So this could represent the masculine energy, making that decision also to, you know, walk away from negativity towards a more positive future. Um, and then finally arriving. Uh, so, yeah. But I, I do feel like a solid foundation is grounded for sure. There's so many pentacles going on here right now. Okay, so the masculine final outcome. Chariot. Wow. So this is moving forward towards that goal, towards your destiny. But it's an emotional card. This is water. So it has to do with the things that make you happy. And... Uh, free and excited uh, so it's taking the reins and directing yourself towards that future this is fire energy this is water so 
the thing that you know makes you feel passionate and alive and has to do with your higher purpose um, and then also what uh, awakens you emotionally so it's control self-control directed energy once again towards your your destiny your future wow the devil chariot again and the six of cups okay so the devil is that sorry I got paint on my hand still from working on the cards um, so anyway yeah uh, the death or sorry the devil is having chains either a codependent relationship or uh, an addiction or old beliefs old values um, something that is chaining him uh, making him feel like he can't move and he releases that energy so the chariot once again water it's uh, doing the things that make you happy and and going after that you know quite literally going surfing enjoying life being happy and free but it's a controlled energy the six of cups is reunion it's um, somebody coming back from the past but because we got the two chariots it's his energy releasing the devil his fears the darkness and transforming um, finding that courage that will and determination uh, to go towards this love so the six of cups represents um, somebody that you loved very very deeply um, so it could be somebody from your childhood or a past life um, somebody who made you feel innocent and um, you know just a pure love innocent and free so yeah there's a sense that he makes that decision gets on his surfboard and goes towards that thing that he desires most and makes him happy okay so what is the feminine bringing into the union nice number one so repeated card in her present position is that new beginning the ace of wands passion ignited that inspiration that spark within heart chakra activated so starting from zero letting go of your past life no way oh my god repeated card so remember we got that three of swords here with the ace of wands same thing the moon and the eight of pentacles okay so three of swords once again heartbroken um, you know have you know offering this new beginning or feeling like there's this new beginning um, and feeling heartbroken at the same time so the moon card is could represent feminine energy but it's diving beneath the surface uh, to the subconscious mind uh, facing your fears facing your shadow aspect and walking through that veil through that darkness um, I'm really surprised by these cards because I haven't been picking up you know this heavy energy from the feminine in quite some time so it's almost like things are reversed here the masculine is very grounded, very loving, and directed towards the feminine, where the feminine is in a dark place right now, even though there's that, you know, recognition of the twin flame connection. She's finding it difficult to be alone. And the hermit twice, um, heartbreak, you know, so the four cups. So, yeah. Uh, you know the four pentacles is that feeling of closing yourself off so don't do that don't close yourself off stay open offer this new beginning stay in your heart chakra um, heal your heart let go of these fears the eight of pentacles is positive movement forward so it's grounding energy it is um, working towards that ten of pentacles in the material world so you're being recognized for all of the hard work that you've done um, and you are moving forward and 
you're nearing that completion of the Ten of Pentacles. Just, you know, um, keep working at it is what I'm getting here. Okay, so for what is the masculine bringing in? Wow, the High Priest. So he is definitely awake, conscious, um, and he's being recognized as a leader. So this is the Divine Masculine in a spiritual form, um, just in his knowing, his uh, consciousness, he's, he carries a lot of wisdom and knowledge and he's ready to share that wisdom with others and guide others out of the darkness. Nice, Four of Wands, again, the Page of Swords. Cards are sticky. Wow, and the sun card. Oh my god. A lot of fire here. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, so four of wands, once again, it's that twin flame calling card. Um, that arrival, you know, like I said, engagement. Um, a new be a new beginning. It's arrival and a new beginning. Um, the Page of Swords is the double communicator. So this is, he's a messenger plus uh, sword energy is communication. So he wants to communicate on a, you know, major level that has to do with spir spirituality and the thing that makes him come alive um, and the connection. So this is also, um, you know, having an idea and moving forward with that idea, knowing your truth, cutting the barriers away, and just, you know, speaking your truth. The Sun card is the most positive major arcana. Um, so this is abundance, happiness, bliss. It's all the good feels. It's a brand new beginning. Um, it's feeling passionate, excited, uh, looking at the world through a child's eyes, purity, innocence, feeling free. Wow, that is amazing energy to be bringing into the union. Okay, so for the foundation, wow, heart chakra. Oh my God, that's awesome. Unconditional love. You both share unconditional love as a foundation. I'm not going to pull any further cards from that for that it's just beautiful so you love each other deeply and the crowning energy wow are you serious oh my god the crown chakra that is incredible so he is awake conscious um not only is his heart chakra activated, but he is tapping into um, the 5D, the collective source. Of course he is, because he's the, the high priest. That's amazing, guys. So, wow. <laughs> I can't say much more about that. That's amazing. All right. So, what is the heart-centered energy? Oh, my God. <sighs> Ah, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I want to cry. Yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, two cups. It is spiritual union. It's recognizing your twin. And um, the heart chakra is open. The crown chakra is open. And you see each other. Uh, third eye. Connection. Deep soul connection with your twin flame. And you both share this. This is the, the most amazing freaking reading I've ever seen. So girls, um, no more sadness. So I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. WTF. Third eye chakra. Oh my God. You guys, that's crazy. That's a shared overall energy, third eye, freaking chakra, right up there. That's amazing. That is, that's perfect, perfect reading.
Okay, so um, I'm going to pull two cards from Cult Bear and Mead and I will read those for you. Holy crap. So yeah, um, definitely a shift. There's a major awakening here. Um, so girls, don't give up hope, okay? Okay, so feminine first. Sad embrace. Masculine. One ring circus. Nice. He's finding his independence, putting up boundaries. That is awesome. Well, I found that pretty darn fast. Okay, so sad embrace. Loss is a part of life. Let go and allow time to heal you. You may be entering into a period where loss is a theme. Perhaps you're having to let go of a long cherished dream. If you, if so, take heart for this ending may have been for your highest good. A better and more powerful dream will be realized in your life if you can ac accept the loss. Relationships based on faulty foundations are meant to end at this time. Disappointment is a form of perception. If your expectations weren't met, a sense of loss arises along with sadness and grief. Um, express these emotions. Tears are like healing rain that can restore life to a parched inner landscape. Growth is always assured. Whatever the loss, however great it is, let go and experience your feelings so that you may soon see the beauty that lies ahead. You see that beauty that lies ahead? Right there? That's insane. Okay, 15. I'm so stoked. Oh my god. Okay. One ring circuits. You are capable and competent. Independence is key. Now, or sorry, independence is key now as you step into the journey today. Others may not have the vision or resources you need. Recognize that all the wisdom you've acquired along the way makes you particularly competent and capable of moving forward with assurance. Self-reliance is important. Another aspect to consider is creating and maintaining clear boundaries between you and another. Be discerning about your partnerships at this time. When you know who you are and have a healthy sense of where you end and others begin, you'll, you're you able to enter into the best kind of relationship and will attract people who mirror back your wholeness. Interdependent relationships are always mutually supportive, stimulating, and transformative. You can achieve anything at this time. Yeah, baby. He's finding his independence, and that's definitely what I was feeling here in the near future. That screams independence to me. So making that decision um, to let go of that nasty devil there and be happy for once in your life. Seriously, stop torturing yourself. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if it resonated. Much love.